funny, in America, half the people in this country think that drugs is what you have to regulate to make us safer, and half the people think guns. That's what you've got to regulate to make us safer. But I always think if you're going to regulate one thing that has the most potential to cause death and destruction, religion. You've got to start with religion. And I'm not, I, but no, I mean, what I have against religion is that they start you when you are so defenseless. I mean, I was three or something when they started pumping this bullshit into my head. I believed in Santa Claus and the fairy godmother. Of course I believed in a virgin birth and a guy lived in a whale and a woman came from a rib. But then something very important happened to me that made me doubt all of it. I graduated sixth grade. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, God almighty. I, I really understand how this nightmare of clerical pedophilia could have happened because if you're a priest and you spend your whole life spewing this nonsense about the snake and the whale and the apple and the rib, it's like, oh, fuck it, just blow me, kid. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what, just... Also, what is so hard about just saying the words, I don't know? I don't know. Of course, there are questions that plague all of us. How did we get here? What happens when we die? Is there a heaven? Am I on the list? <laughs> but why would you believe what some other human being whose brain, I promise you, is no bigger or better than yours when he tells you he knows what happens when you die? Don't masturbate now. You won't get to hang out with Jesus in heaven. How do I know? I, I've got a pointy hat. <laughs> I've got a hat and a robe and I have smoke and a wand. It's so gay, the whole church. It's just, could they just come out of the closet, really? I mean, it's just so, you know, every Sunday it's such a pageant with the costumes and the wands and the goblets and the smoke and the kneeling down in front of another man with your mouth open. <laughs> Nothing gay about that, no. <laughs> Nothing gay there. So, <laughs> are our religions corrupt? Yes, of course they are. But once again, I have to say, their religions, even worse. Even worse. I mean, that thing about the 72 virgins, that's the lowest. Promising pussy in the afterlife is the lowest thing I've ever heard in my life. Also, by the way, 72 virgins is very suspicious to me. It's a clue. It tells you we're dealing with people from a bartering culture. <laughs> because nobody starts with that number. Somebody said 100 virgins, 50, 85, 69, 79, 71, 73, 72, done. That's how you got 72. <laughs>